Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish Gaming. This is Neon, and we're gonna talk about Pal World because not enough people are talking about Pal World. I guess, I guess gaming journos are kind of gloating that the uh, player count of Pal World is dropping. Of course, it is. Uh, of course, it is. A lot of people, you know, check the game out. They might be taking a break. Maybe they're waiting for an update or whatever it is. It is a single player. RPG, unless, well, unless you play online. But for the most part, I think a lot of people are probably playing single player on this, and it's still in early access. Now, that being said, there are still hundreds of thousands of people playing Pal World. It's doing much, much better than the Suicide Squad game, which costs considerably more. But the uh, community manager is saying, yeah, we're fine. If you take a break and go play other games, we'll be here for you. That's fine. That's fine, guys. So we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about them addressing the situation. Again, I think it's because of gaming journos being like, look, look, the Pokemon knockoff is failing. It's like, no, this was an indie game. Uh, the budget wasn't very high on this game. It's not failing. I, I don't know what planet you think this game is, uh, is failing. You might feel like it's failing creatively, but uh, they made lots of money off of Power World. So let's talk about this. Please subscribe for more gaming content and gaming news here on Clownfish Gaming. Check us out on Spotify, on iTunes, wherever you listen to podcasts, Amazon, all that stuff. Uh, we're on there. You can listen to an audio version of this. Uh, take us with you. Please take us with you. So this is coming from Destructoid, which I didn't realize was still around, but that's cool. I actually used to read Destructoid quite a bit. Uh, Power World's community manager says it's fine to take a break amid negative player count discourse. Is that what we're calling it? After Pal World started sliding down the Steam charts, the usual it's a dead game or dying chatter spun up, but I'm not inclined to go exclusively off Steam's player count to determine a game's long-term health, and the same appears to be true for Pocket Pair. Now, again, I think we're talking apples and oranges because people are going to be like, well, Neon, you just did a video about the Suicide Squad. Yeah, that's, that's a huge difference. We're talking a major AAA release, hundreds of millions of dollars, and years and years of development put into the Suicide Squad and it landed with a thud. Pal World still has a couple hundred times as many players as Suicide Squad from what I can tell. It's just not the biggest thing out there like it was a couple of weeks ago. And I don't know what the long-term plan for Pal World looks like. I, I enjoy the game quite a bit. You know, I, I did. I, I thought it was cool. Now, could I play it every day? From now until the end of time, probably not, but it is an early access. You have to remember that. It's an early access. So uh, provided Nintendo doesn't find some way to shut them down, which I know a lot of a lot of Nintendo stands are getting all juicy thinking that Nintendo is going to come in and shut them down. And they are looking for loopholes, I think, because uh, I think if they could take them out, they would. If they could take out Digimon, they would. If they could take out Monster Rancher, they would. But I don't know if they can. But provided they don't get shut down or implode from their own server costs or whatever, I think I think Power World's going to be around for a while. I do. I don't know if it's going to be the biggest thing out there, but it's it's a pretty fun game. It really is. Um, anyway, back to the article. The studio's community manager, Bucky, seems to feel the same. Uh, if their recent Twitter post is anything to go by, it's not very often that a game, especially one from a smaller studio, becomes as much of an overnight success as Power World did. The stories of broken records came thick and fast. Millions of players, concurrent player accounts, the likes of which are rarely seen, even in AAA titles, to be honest. And Pocket Pair pumping out the patches to resolve issues as fast as possible. At the time of this writing, which I think was a day or so ago, 419,000 people are playing Pal World on PC, according to Steam DB. And it's currently third in the charts above PUBG and Helldivers 2. Above PUBG and Helldivers 2. That's still pretty impressive. I don't care who you are. That's pretty impressive. And again, Suicide Squad at one point had below a thousand people playing it. Now, you really had to reach for that. Uh, people pointed out in the video, they're like, why are they checking the numbers at three o'clock in the morning? Like, that's a good, that's a good point. That's a good point. Uh, sure, there's a gulf between 2 million players and 400,000 players, but after a month and, and an explosive debut, perhaps it's nothing of shock. Uh, that's true. It's still very, very good. So Bucky said, with Power World quickly approaching the one-month mark, it's interesting to look back at my own thoughts for launch. Let's go out to the uh, let's go out to the whole tweet. In May of 2023, I was convinced that Power World could break the 50,000 player mark. Anything above that seemed unobtainable, though, and I certainly never expected it to reach into the millions. 
It's taken years to get to this point, and PAL World only really begins from here. Everyone is working hard to fix the issues and prepare new content and PALs. Some of you may have had your phone over the last three weeks and found yourself putting the game down. That is fine. You're allowed to take a break from punching PALs in the face and putting them to work and butchering them. This emerging PAL world has lost X percent of player base discourse is lazy. It's probably also a good time to step in and reassure those of you capable of reading past a headline that it's fine to take breaks from games. You don't need to feel bad about that. PAL world, like many games before it, isn't in a position to pump out massive amounts of new content on a weekly basis. New content will come. It's going to be awesome, but these things take a little bit of time. There are so many amazing games out there to play. You don't need to feel guilty about hopping from game to game. If you're still playing PAL World, we love you. If you're no longer playing PAL World, we still love you. And we hope you will come back for round two when you're ready. Play lots of games, try different genres, and frequently flick through indie libraries to find hidden gems. That's actually that's actually a very classy response. You know, um, this person here, Syntax, says no progression-based game could ever hold those concurrent numbers for long. Even with the player drop-off, it's still very much in the top 10 on Steam. My re the real test will be when there's new content, how many players will return my guesses a lot. I think so. 100% we will be back in the PAL world after I fin finish up uh, Mass Effect Replay. I need something to cheer me up. You've made a great fun game. Looking forward to the additional content. Bucky says, I love Mass Effect, especially the first one, Fond Memories. Um, this is a Syfy artist currently playing in Shrouded and waiting for new updates to get back to my pals. They're probably missing the work schedule <laughs> and Shrouded is excellent. Yeah, that's true. Um, this happened with, uh, I know Animal Crossing, especially that was one that like a lot of people were into and they're like, yeah, there's really nothing to do. And then they would drop, you know, another update or something and people would play through it. And they're like, yeah, there's still nothing to do. It's not quite like the Sims where you can always find new creative ways to uh, torture. Well, I guess you probably could. There you go. There you go, pal world. New ways to torture and motive. I'm sorry, motivate. Motivate your pals. That'll bring people back. New ways to craft your pals' corpses into interesting things. That'll bring people back. Um, the Ildo. Uh, there we go, guys. Uh, yeah, pal world, even supposedly failing, it's still beating pretty much everything else out there. And uh, I, think, I think it's here to stay. Again, unless some kind of ridiculous legal action happens on Nintendo's part or somehow Pocket Pair blows itself up. If everything goes the way it's supposed to go, it's going to be here for a while. I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe. Again, check us out on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music. We'll talk later.